Hey guys, welcome back for another video for Ludi Bros Entertainment and today I got a special deck profile video for you guys and if you're wondering who it is, if you can tell by my shirt, it is the legendary Super Saiyan Broly and let's go ahead and get right into this deck profile. Alright, so right off the bat we're going to look at our, uh, our leader card right here. So what this leader does is, uh, is his auto is automatically or actually first he's a critical striker so if you deal any damage to your opponent he the if, if your opponent takes a hit he's going to immediately have to place his life in the drop area but his auto is um when this card hits the field um place one uh, dormant legend uh card in the battle area and activate it so this dormant legend right here is a field card and uh you um his permanent uh, you can't place cards under this card except with the card's skill. And what the skill is, auto, when a card in your life is added to your hand or placed in the drop area during your opponent's turn, place the top card card of your deck underneath this card. And then once you get three or more um, under this card, you can activate the main, which is place this card in the drop area, and then you can choose one red Broly card with an energy cost of four from your deck and play it. And then you'll shuffle your deck. So what, what you're going to do um, early on with this deck is you're going to put pressure on your opponent early with a critical, with a critical striker, you, with your critical leader, and then um, on your turn you want to take three hits, at least three hits um, early, so you can place cards underneath it, and then you can get out, once you get three under, you can get out this uh, Broly Rapid Barrage, which is... Um, the only red Broly I run in this deck. Um, um, and then his permanent is only one Broly Rapid Barrage can be played in your battle area if you can um, and you can't play this card in, um, from any area unless Dormant Legend in your drop. So basically, you're, this the Dormant Legend is going to need to be going to have to activate the main and place it in the drop area in order to uh, play out this Rapid Barrage card. Um, and then auto, when you play this card, you can choose one of your opponent's battle cards, um, and it'll, they'll lose uh, 10,000 power until the end of your opponent's turn. So this skill will be good for getting out uh, you know, weaker battle cards off the field. And then um, um, and his other autos, when your opponent combos, when you choose one card in your hand, place it in the drop area. If you do so, choose one of your opponent's uh, combo area, a card in your opponent's combo area, and place it in the drop area then negate the skill for the duration of the turn. So that's another way to stop, uh, to lower down your opponent's attack when he combos. Um, another thing I'm gonna, I like to run in this deck um, is this Broly Tragedy Foretold. Now, this is another card you cannot play, or you can only play one in the battle area, um, but you can't play it unless Dormant Legend is in your drop area. So you'll have to use uh, that effect earlier to get out this to get out um, that, uh, this uh, Tragedy Foretold card up too. So his auto is, when you play this card, uh, choose two of your opponent's battle cards ignoring Bear and they'll lose 15,000 power until the end of your opponent's uh, turn. So that is another way of um, lowering down your opponent's battle cards again. Um, and uh, probably most likely clearing them off the field um, to be open for an attack and eliminating their attack. So and his, his auto is also the same as the uh, Rapid Barrage. Um, if your opponent combos, you can choose one card uh, in your opponent's combo area and place it in those drop area. And, uh, and then you'll have to negate the skill for the duration of the turn. Um, and what you want to do when you play this card, this is an Arrival. And if you don't know what a rival does, you basically have to combo a red and a green card, and you'll have to combo or tap a red and a green energy, and then you can play that card from your hand. That's how the uh, arrival effect works. You do not really want to hard cast this for like six energy, because that'll just completely wipe you out um, for the turn. You want to get that card out um, realistically if you can. Um, you could with a rival, you can get that out your second turn. But because you need the Dormant Legend in your drop area, you want to wait till at least uh, you take three hits and place it in the drop area to play it. So you want to get that those this card out. I run four of those. Run four of these Rapid Barrages. Um, 
Uh, for uh, my the other card I like to use is this uh, the Broly Demonic Origins. Now he's an energy exhaust, but um, the way you can get around that is if you have a card that is both red and green in your energy. Other than this card, you can negate this card's uh, energy exhaust skill. Now, energy exhaust is when you uh, place a card. Um, it's mo mainly a multicolor card in your energy, but you have to play it in rest mode, as you can see. But um, if you already have one in there that's not a Bre Broly Demonic Origins, you can go ahead and uh, charge this card. Um, but if you do end up playing it, which I sometimes do, um, your opponent chooses one card in their hand and places it in the drop area. Now, I also use this card for um, evolving, helping me to evolve. So what I do is, the card I use for evolving, I go down to this Broly Deathless Warrior. Now, he can evolve onto other Broly cards, but um, when evolving this card into a Broly with a different name um, from your hand, um, the evolve cost is decreased. So this Deathless Warrior will go, um, you'll tap one green energy um, to evolve uh, another this Broly onto that Demonic Origins. So go, back, go back up to this Demonic Origins, you'll evolve it onto him for one, ener one green energy. And then auto, his auto will go off. Uh, when you play this card, your lead card is a Broly. Your opponent may choose, or your opponent may choose one card, one of their battle cards, and KO it. But if they don't, they they then mustn't choose two cards in their hand and places in the drop area. So this will put pressure on your opponent to take either to destroy a battle card, or they'll have to drop two from their hand and they'll have to make that that decision. So I I like that effect that puts a lot of pressure on what their game plan is. And this other Broly card I like to use is. The Super Saiyan Broly Legend Unleashed. Now, he's an activate main. Um, if your opponent has three or more energy, choose one dormant legend in your battle area and place it in the drop area. Then play this card from your hand. And if you do that, when you play this card um, for the duration of the turn, your leader card is red, which it is. You can activate its awakening skill even if you have five or more life. So you can... Uh, basically awaken really early if you just um, if you're when your opponent has three energy you can, oh, for that turn you can awaken um, and it'll help help you a lot um, turn to turn early that'll and it'll give you an extra uh, striking uh, I do that. another another uh, for my super combos now I run uh, four of these Krillin Unforeseen, Unforeseen Savior. Now, um, when I this is a combo where if you have uh, four or less life, you can draw one. It's really good for. I like this card for drawing. Um, another thing I run in this deck is these two Quick Rush Trunkses. So he's a, he's also a critical striker, and I like having uh, critical strikers uh, getting out in the game early to so put a little pressure on my opponents. Um, usually I'll combo in a card to go up to 20 and critical to uh, let them mill out a couple cards in their deck or in their hand most likely so that they have to drop the life. Another thing I like to run that'll put pressure is this Virtuous Strength Gohan. Now this, um, this permanent is, since our leader card is red, um, it, this card can attack battle cards that are in active mode, um, which is really useful because for his um, auto is during your turn, when this card KOs an opponent's battle card, you automatically afflict one damage to your opponent, which could be really, really good. That they would basically have to focus more on uh, uh, protecting their battle cards than uh, their life, since they'll be it'll be it affects both in the same way. They'd lose a battle card and a life at the same time. It's very dangerous. Now let's move over to the counters for a moment. Right now, I'm running two of these Frieza No Introductions. So basically, this is a negate the attack and play this card. So and is permanent when your opponent's uh, uh, during your opponent's turn. Reduce the energy cost in this hand, in your hand by two. So it brings it from a four all the way down to a two. And you can uh, basically negate an uh, attack, and you'll automatically play a card, which is going to be really useful. An extra twenty thousand, you know, beat stick. And then he has an activate main where you can choose uh, 
a red or a blue Frieza clan in your hand with an energy cost of five and play it on top of this card. So it's it would this um, his main would work in a more like a cooler or a Frieza deck, but I just like running it um, as a counter for playing an extra battle card um, for that. Uh, another thing that's really uh, really successful and that a lot of red decks run is uh, this denial of hope. Now he's a counterplay, which is when your opponent is playing a battle card, and if when your leader card is red, um, battle card your opponent playing has 20,000 or less is instead placed in your owner's drop area instead of being played. So if your opponent is playing like a big boss that you know really fuels their uh, their deck and their strategy, then you can automatically tap two energy and send it immediately to the drop area, which is, can be very key and useful. Another counter I run, which is uh, your mine. It's another counterplay. Um, when your opponent is uh, plays a battle card, choose two of their battle cards. I'll move it as mi minus five. Another battle card to just um, get rid of your opponent's battle cards on the field, lower them down their strength. And then you could um, probably combo that with the virtuous strength Gohan and just uh, you know beat them up with it and deal damage to them. You know, okay. And I'm also running this uh, Saiyan Kaba. So he's another thing that'll put pressure. He's a um, uh, a card where you can take from your life, he'll gain 10 and double strike. So just a quick double strike hitter. I mainly use it for charging because I like to save my lives for my uh, dormant legend. So that way I can get his effect off. But he's uh, it, just for, for uh, every now and then I, I'll use it to uh, uh, deal a quick early damage to my opponent. Now I'm also running these Raditz the Oppressors. Now uh, he's a pretty nice card going up. You know when you play this card, you can draw. I always like to draw a lot. Um, and then his once per turn, I can uh, when your opponent switches uh, uh, energy to active mode with a non-awakened skill, um, I can choose one of their energy and place it in the drop area. So I it's really good for stopping uh, decks that like to restand energy, like a uh, Dimension Magic, where you can negate restand. And then you can just activate that auto where he can uh, take that uh, take an energy away from your opponent, which is really key. Um, I have also run this Father Piccolo, uh, Father Figure Piccolo. I don't. Uh, I mainly use it for the combo um, or charging for either arriving. Uh, mainly, I don't. Uh, the auto is you know I don't run. Uh, I only have one. I don't. The auto is I. Uh, uh, look at the top seven. And I get a Sun Gohan Youth Energy Castle Two. Add it to my hand. Then I'll shuffle my deck. I'm only running one Gohan in here, um, just because uh, it's mainly uh, that card too. This Gohan, which is this, is uh, look at the top seven. Get a green Sun Goku card. Add it to your hand. I mainly use these to charge and combo for the arrival skill. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, the other thing I'm using is uh, Urgent Aid Kami. Another thing. That allows me to draw a card, and then if your opponent activates uh, that uh, awaken uh, or re restanding energy with a non-awakened skill, then I can place another energy in their drop area. Now I'm, I'm, I'm using this Human Shield Krillin just as a blocker to protect myself um, uh, early in case uh, someone's trying to sneak in an extra hit on me. I'm running these Sun Gokus just for comboing, charging. Um, it's a nice 20,000 attacking too. Um, also, I'm using this uh, energy power trunks. Um, I can choose a card from their hand, place in the drop area when I attack a leader card. So um, I like um, ripping card. I have a couple cards that just rip cards away from their hand. And um, I have this uh, furious yell Vegeta in my deck as well, which um, I want. I like this card in my deck because it allows me to. Um, get a, uh, an extra double striking. I don't have a lot of double strike, uh, double strike or triple strike in this uh, in this deck. Um, but his uh, uh, his activate main is a once per turn. Take choose from card of the life, uh, place a card from your life in the drop area, and then I can choose one of my opponent's battle cards and KO it. Um, a little bit of a cost since it's taking the life away, but I just like to have it out there for double striking capabilities to put some pressure on my opponent. And um, I also am running this. Uh, unlikely duo um, Sun Goku, which is a get a get an Earthling or a Neckian card from the top seven out of your hand and shuffle your deck, mainly for charging, for 
uh, I'm using it for arrival, um, that sort of thing. And then I got this um, Energy Volley Gogeta in here. Another, I need an, um, another double striker. And I mainly, um, this is a card for an EX Evolve and a Beku BR with Energy Cost of 3. But um, as you can see, I don't running in those here. I really just use it for uh, uh, as as a just just for an extra double striking, um, you know, battle card with twenty five thousand. Kind of hard to stop in some cases. Now for the for the ultimate ultimate card, I'm running in here. I have this Super Saiyan three Raditz uh, Vegeta Super Saiyan three. Scramble, Raditz, uh, Vegeta, and Broly. So this is a card. It's an arrival for three reds and two greens. So this is basically a turn five play, where you combo two reds, uh, a red and a green, and tap a red and, or tap three reds and two greens. And when you play this card, you choose a card from your life, place in the drop area, then you immediately deal two damage to your opponent. So this is a card where. Um, uh, you you have to sacrifice the one life, but you'll deal two uh, uh, two damage to your opponent, and then as uh, when his uh, when your opponent combos with the battle card with energy cost of two or less, choose up to one of one card in your opponent's combo and places in the drop, so you can stop your uh, opponent from getting up too high. And it's just an extra you know it's a forty thousand beat stick, which can potentially it's when you look at it, it could turn into a, a triple strike by sacrificing one life when you look at it so yeah you know this is that's that's this this is how i run run my uh, deck oh i almost forgot when the leader awakens when it attacks you can draw one and uh you can choose um one card from your hand place in the drop here then you can choose uh one of your opponent's battle cards um with energy cost of uh energy cost of with an energy cost of uh uh, 10,000 uh, or less in KO itself. Just another card, to, another ability to get it out of, uh, uh, get a lower card on the field. So there you have it, guys. Just a little deck build profile, one of my favorite villains in Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super. Um, hey, I want to hear it from you guys. Let me know if you guys want me to do a deck profile on a specific Dragon Ball character. I'd be more than happy to do it for you. Uh, or me and my big bro would be more than happy to do it for you. Uh, thank you for the continued support. Uh, you know we're, we're getting closer to our first goal of 100 subscribers. So please let everybody, let all your friends and family know. Subscribe to this channel. We're getting, we're just nine away from 100. We're, we're getting close. Once we get there, we'll have a special, special video for you guys. And I'll catch you guys later in the next video. See you.